What's up, everybody? Welcome to your day. Today, we're going to be talking about the manager that I've been hearing a lot of complaints about. A lot. I've seen it on a couple of top 10 lists, comp wise. So, we're going to talk about Metal Pickout. Yes, this manager right here. I've seen lots of complaints. And I'm here to decipher what makes this thing so powerful. So, I'm going to touch on this dude. He has 520L. How much damage does that do to you? You know what I mean? How much damage? 13. Whoa, 13%. Now, to be fair, this is a mantra heavy build, but 13%? I wasn't expecting that much. Damn. That's a lot of damage. Now go ahead and no block. Because this is this is the real this is the real threat. Right? So as you can see, it goes behind block. That is the big deal that a lot of people also bring up. So that you have to parry it. You can dodge it as well, but it tracks. So go ahead and like actually actively like move around. All right, just like move around a bit and as you can see it tracks him like even if he's moving he can't like move it he can't dodge if he's moving he has to do something about it all right and that was a pretty low cooldown especially paired with the blessed gem you see how low that cooldown is so that is the big threat behind metal fake out i land that thing like two or three times on him that's probably like 25 35 percent damage on him which is actually pretty crazy one more thing too is like faint into the metal fake out that thing bro that is a noob stomper that is a noob stomper trust me for some reason you thought at any freshie most freshies they just can't they can't deal with it obviously the more comp players are gonna be able to deal with it but if you want free damage literally throw that out every time will i you will get up, up to at least like 1200 elo you at least get up to top 2000 with that bitch one more thing as well um there used to be a thing where you could like faint metal fake out in order to kind of go behind somebody instantly as you can see if you try fainting it a nothing happens B, it puts it on regular cooldown, so do not faint metal fake out. If you want to abuse it, just use it. Do not faint it, don't don't try it. You can already do a little mix up, just like I said before. You know what I mean? Just do a faint yourself. Do another move, faint another move, like I don't know, need a barrage, and then do the metal fake out so you can get them to waste their dodge and force a parry. Anyway, bro, let's drop into the shine. Now, one thing I'm actually really interested in trying out is metal fake out with oh uh, what the heck? I'm not why would i go towards one thing i'm really interested in trying out is oh wait do i not have it wow okay i'm gonna try next match but like insignia with what's it called um metal fake out nice oh my goodness put the hurt on that guy right there and going for the another m1 right there one thing i actually have not seen people really use is um the regular uh like sword bearing of um what's it called what, what is this shit called anyway? The Ignition Deep Crusher. I'll always be forgetting the names. Dude, Loki, that thing has bleed damage and the bait damage is like 28, which I think is really handy. Nice. Oh, he dodged that. Whoa. Nice. Into the metal cow drop. Okay. Nice. Into that. Nice. Oh my goodness. Sending it off with a nice little metal pickup in there, too. GG, bruh. Um, dude, okay, this has Insignia on it because I forgot that you can't use Gaze and Insignia. We're gonna put down the uh, Needle Barrage and see if while we're flying, we can go into the uh, Metal Pickout. Alright, now we got Needle Barrage Insignia, and I wanted to use Wind Gem with Gaze, but unfortunately I have access to that. Alright, now one of those hit. Nice. So we can get this right here. Nope, none of them landed. And the Metal Pickout, nice. Oh my goodness. Devious when these guys actually decide to jump because they have to jump and pair at the same time. Usually, best way to, to try is like when they're like in the middle. Okay, for some reason it also looks really weird. But I think best time to use metal peco is like when they're actively doing something and they just can't pair at the moment. Oh my goodness, dude! Nice. Need a need a barrage. Go metal peco. Ooh, dude, that is actually a good bit faster. What? He was able to move in my jailer? He must have used the mantra. Dude. Oh my god, dude. Stop playing so defensive, man. I know you're I know you're mage, but come on man, dude. You can be an aggressive mage. Dude, like that's that's actually box, bro. But I'm not even playing that mage if Iron Sing Mage, bro. Like I, I could be doing like Devious. Like, come on, bro. I have no words. Carried! Carried! Alright, next up we're gonna suggest create a jet striker player. Let's see if we can land one of these right here into Ah. Uh, does it look like it's faster with Insignia Gem? Like I can't really tell that much if it is. It's hard to, it's really hard to tell. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that move stack is something to watch out for, I guess. Nope. Oh, what? That still hit me from that range? Nice. Ah, oh, okay. Nice. Hug him with my hug at. Nice. Ooh. That actually did feel a good bit faster. Maybe it's because Insignia Gem kind of has like a very low 
activation period, so you have to use immediately after. Honestly, the thing about my build is that, like, it's not even that crazy of a, like, Iron Sing build. Like, it's not as cheesy as, like, you know, like, those heavy Iron Sing builds, or, like, super mage Iron Sing builds. Like, I'm not even running, uh, like, my Insta Guard Break that can be made extremely large for some reason, right? Which, hey, man, I, I, I don't know why that's a thing. Nice. Okay. Like, I'll be honest, bro, this build is rocking 450 HP, bro. That is, like... Or that is terrible. Like 33 physical. Oh, I, dude, that, it's nice that it can Loki dodge attacks as well, bro. I'll give Metal Pick up that. The fact that it can like Loki go behind attacks like that is just very handy. And that's the end of him. The goal of this one will be we're gonna try and pick him out and then go to Metal Pick up to see if we can. Okay, we'll confirm a hit, but it might not work as well on Dagger. Uh, it, but the thing is though, like his. Okay, I think I know why we're getting hit because like as we're traveling. Like, it's not instant. We're traveling to behind their back, okay? Right, so if I do this, right? Like, you see how I got hit in front of him? Like, it's not immediately going towards his back, which, I don't know, I think that's just because just how, like, the move works. So instead of it being, like, a teleport, it's just, it, like, quickly travels there, so you can get hit during it. Yeah, you see how, like, there's that, that like, weird little movement error? Aw, oh, dude, fake, dude. Fanning it, I guess, doesn't give you, like, the half cooldown, bro. It gives you, like, you basically use the move, but nothing happened. Nice. I don't know why I didn't use that. Nice. Where my hug at? Oh man, he's on for it. Warm tooth, huh? Honestly, some people think warm tooth still needs like a bunch of nerves, which I guess I can't necessarily fault them for because warm tooth still is pretty powerful, I'd say. Alright. Nope. Get the makeup pick out going. Nice. Cancel that attack. Get some cow drips on. These two. Oh, they actually managed to hit. Wow, the little fake out method, dude. From my hug at. Oh, dude, that range is actually super long. We actually took hella damage. I can't even lie to you. Nope. And get the fake out. What the? The attack happened before him. What is that? Nice. Oh, dude. From my hug at. Nah, come on, man. Bro, I, 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 see, I hate that, dude. Nice. Ooh, close one. I'm not gonna lie, he was messing me up, but at the same time, bro, hey, man, this build is not tanky. I just need to be playing a little bit better if I'm having this much else. And it's gonna be all, bro. Uh, Metal Pick Out, hey, man, has its uses. It's pretty good. A lot of people put it on top 10 lists. We'll see what happens to it. Boom. Hey, did y'all peep though? Yeah, you know, I thought a little, you know, a little, a little con, you know what I mean? How to make it an eight minute video. It was eight minutes yet, so let me just show this off a little bit.